Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd, and it's time for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle power. This week's episode, Darkest Plight, picks up immediately after last week's episode, The Super Shredder. It literally starts with the end of last week's episode, where the turtles fight an elite ninja and tiger claw, and then Super Shredder and Splinter fighting each other. That rocket they're on falls off when Splinter knocks it off, and then they're falling to their doom. So Splinter and Super Shredder are still fighting while they're falling. There's one point where Super Shredder grabs Splinter and puts him against some rocks and has him drag it across the rocks. But eventually Super Shredder hits a ledge, so he stays while Splinter continues to fall. But it's okay, because Splinter gets stopped by construction beams. He literally starts hitting multiple construction beams to land to the ground, so I guess that helped break his fall. And after landing on the ground, after slamming into multiple construction beams, the only thing that still hurts on him is his foot from earlier in the battle. Cartoon logic! The turtles have to fight Bebop and Rocksteady and the Elite Ninja, and eventually they do defeat them and get away. They go back to the lair super sad, thinking that Splinter might be done. April can't even find him in her, in her vision, in her sense. But she still has faith that Splinter is still alive. The turtles do too. And even Casey Jones, who eventually decides to show up. Where has he been all this time? It'd be funny if they made an episode just showing what Casey Jones was doing all this time when he wasn't hanging out with these guys. There's a lot that went down while Casey Jones was on vacation. So the turtles come up with a plan. Donatello and Michelangelo will spelunk down to the Undercity to find Splinter. Raphael and Casey Jones will stand watch just in case anyone shows up while Donnie and Mikey are spelunking. And Leonardo, April, and Karai will stand watch over them in case the Super Shredder shows up. Down in the Undercity, Splinter is all alone, or so he thinks, when he hears a voice from his past, and it turns out to be the Rat King. If you remember, the last time that we saw the Rat King, he actually had a fight with Splinter right over the Undercity, and then Splinter knocked him down, so he's been down there all this time. As usual, the Rat King, who just looks so demented and scary is always like you need to accept who you are you're not Hamato Yoshi anymore you're not a human you are a rat you're a monster he's trying to reduce Splinter to not think like a human anymore and to just be his rat slave he starts messing with him too he steps on Splinter's hurt foot and he even gives Splinter a rat to eat he's like if you want to survive down here you have to do things you may not want to do and he wants Splinter to eat one of the rats and Splinter's like no I can't do that that's radicalism. Rat King's like, suit yourself, you're gonna die, and then eat that rat. Just remember, this is on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. on Nickelodeon. Nick, 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 where you can't eat rats. And if that weren't scary enough, once Rat King realizes he's not gonna get Splinter on his side through talk or through manipulation, he decides to use force, so he calls all his rat friends. They all bind together to make like a rat Voltron, and he is now a giant monster rat made of rats. Rats on rats on rats. It's like a rat megazord. And it's crazy too because it has the face of a rat but it's all made out of rats and then he can shoot rats out and sometimes Rat King will put his head out of the rat. This is some freaky stuff. Again, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. on Nickelodeon. Nick, 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 where rats become a giant rat. And while that's going down, the turtles and their friends have to deal with Shredder and his goons. Raphael and Casey Jones have to fight Bebop and Rocksteady. Bebop, of course, doing his signature, shooting lasers out of his belt, going hee hee hee. And the rock steady getting down on all fours to the point where Raphael is like riding on top of him. Meanwhile, Leonardo, Karai, and April have to deal with Super Shredder and Tiger Claw. And when the fight gets really intense, they have no choice but to go up to the surface to get themselves more room. This, of course, gets scary for all the people in New York who actually start to see this fight. I know we've had episodes where they've been seen before, but this is crazy to see Leonardo fighting Super Shredder and there's people all around actually seeing it. April is using her psychic power. She's now able to move things with her mind and throw them at Shredder, so she's throwing like gas trucks and cars and mailboxes at Shredder. Karai is fighting too, she didn't get kidnapped this time, good. And the whole time that Karai is fighting Super Shredder, she's like, I just gotta find his weak spot. Does he possibly have a weak spot? I don't know Karai, maybe that big giant purple blob heart that's right in the middle of his chest that's pumping and looks very vulnerable compared to the rest of his scary looking body, maybe that could possibly be the weak point. I don't know. I haven't seen a more obvious weak point since Lord Zed's Super Buddies from Mighty Morphin Power. Power Rangers. Aim for the Z, guys! Aim for the Z! Super Shredder grabs Leonardo and is about to squeeze him to death when Karai is like, Saki, no! You don't always have to do things for revenge! And that's Shredder's weak spot, man. He's like, don't call me Saki. Call me father. I love you, Karai. I raised you. And he's coming in close like he wants to give Karai a hug. And she's like, nah, fool. I want to punch that weak spot. Bam! So she hurt Shredder. And as you can see from this episode, as well as from the previous episode, Shredder's mutagen is unstable. So there's parts of him that will start to 
like phase out a little bit or like deflate. Like his one hand is like, and his other hand is like, mm, I've been sick. Karai, April, and Leonardo are about to finish Super Shredder off when Tiger Claw shows up and protects Super Shredder and they're able to get away. And Splinter finally stands up to the Rat King, falls a little bit further to find out that there was no Rat King at all. Apparently this was all just a hallucination from his pain and the Rat King's actually been dead. We actually even see Rat King's dead skeleton. Nick, 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 where you can see a dead body, yeah. Donatello and Michelangelo get all the way down to the Undercity and find Master Splinter. Splinter is safe. And the episode ends with Super Shredder back at Baxter Stockman's lab. Tiger Claw is like, Master, we told you the mutant's unstable. You don't want to do this. And he's like, don't you talk back to me, old friend. Grass Baxter Stockman fly by the head and goes, give me more mutagen. So Baxter Stockman fly, pumps Super Shredder with more mutagen. His hand goes from this back to this. And then Super Shredder is ready to fight again for next week's episode. So man, this was a crazy episode. Very intense and full of action. You got all the Splinter action down below in the Undercity. You got all the Turtles fighting all the other mutants and Super Shredder. It was very action packed. Kind of a bummer that the Splinter story ended with the whole dream thing. Nothing against the show. It's just always kind of a bummer when you see a character go through something that's pretty intense and you find at the end, well, it wasn't really real. It was a hallucination or it was a dream. But it was at least nice to see the Rat King again and definitely a little crazy weird scary creepy to see a giant rat monster full of rats thanks guys you've now given me new nightmares let me know what you thought about this episode of Ninja Turtles. Thumbs up this video. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I make videos all week, every week. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy5000. Chain chomp yomp.